Hi and welcome. As a relationship coach, one of the privileges of my job is that I get to speak to thousands of individuals looking to save their marriage or couples to work on improving the passion, the intimacy, the connection and communication. One of the things that comes up time and time again is phone usage. Are you on the phone too much? How much is too much? And how does somebody who is addicted to social media, addicted to being on their phone all the time, affect the relationship? And what can you do about it? So the reason that phones can cause an issue in relationships is two main reasons that I see most. First of all, it can seem like your partner is not interested in you. There's a lack of attention where somebody is using their phone to fill up silences, to fill up boredom, to not really engage and connect to their husband or wife. And for some reason, whether they're addicted or whether they just have a lot of work on, they are scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on their phone a lot and not really engaging and looking at their partner when they're talking and having that important couple or family time. So this is one area where I see it cause friction in relationships. The other area where it's obviously linked is where somebody's on their phone and the other person is getting very insecure. They're wondering, are they cheating on me? Why are they taking their phone to the bathroom? Why are they spending hours on their phone? Who are they talking to? What's wrong with them? Why are they using their phone as an escape? And the more that we get addicted to our phones, the more that we're using phones to wait in a queue, to fill up those silences, to fill up any moments of boredom or where we're having to sit with our own feelings, to feel our emotions, if we're using the phone to avoid all of that, then of course it can become a habit and the other person can feel like, why are they always on their phone? What's wrong with me? Why don't they want to engage with me? So these are like the two main issues that I see with over phone use. So what happens is couples feel frustrated. They maybe try and tell the other person, okay, you're on the phone too much. And then the other person might turn it around to them and say, well, you're on the phone too much or you're on watching TV too much or you're on your laptop too much. And so then it just becomes a blaming cycle and the actual phone issue isn't addressed. So you want to come up with solutions. If you're going to complain to your husband or wife, come up with some solutions. Say, you know what, I think it would be really good if over dinner we put our phones away. Or we don't have any phones in the bedroom. We charge our phones downstairs. Or at 10 o'clock at night or 8 o'clock at night, whatever works for you, we'll just have our phones over in the corner. If people call us, we can answer them. But if it's not a call, then we can leave them there. Or sometimes couples will say, okay, it's family time between five and eight. And then if we need to check work emails, we can do that after eight o'clock. But it's coming up with a rule that you can stick to, coming up with something that feels good. And also a routine for the weekend as well can be really supportive. Now you can get apps on your phone these days to also police you, to help you. Okay, you've been on Instagram for over an hour, you've been on Facebook for over half an hour, and it can automatically shut your phone down. So that's another great thing that you can do if you find that your phone usage is affecting your relationship.